All right, and we're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you all here. Whoops. <laughs> Not do that. There we go. How are you Look all doing? <laughs> here come the stickers. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Uh, get you down there. There we go. Hello, Roxy and Blick. Glad to have you both here. And late night. I saw you throwing stickers there. <laughs> uh, there we go. Well, welcome, welcome. You all saw the title. It is time to prep. If you were here at the uh, last half of stream yesterday, I had talked about how... Um, someone brought it up. T t told me to save the Dark Moon Fair buff. And that's what I'm partly going to do, but in order to do that, I had to, uh, save the settings, if you will. <laughs> the the specs, talents, loadouts, and profiles for all of my, my mains. I hadn't done that yet, and I had to distribute that across my accounts last night, which took a little bit of effort. So, <laughs> I had to do that before I could get them ready, because we're going to get alts prepped for leveling. That's what we're gonna do, because that is a good idea, because I don't... I haven't played a lot of these characters since, like, early Shadowlands. Um, so these are some oldie moldies that we're gonna grab back to life here. And, uh, try to, you know, get everything working. And also, my bot, did it still not work? Duh! I got a new bot to announce when I stream, and it didn't do it, so... <laughs> I'll have to look into that after the stream. That's irritating. <laughs> oh well. But anywho, right. So I need to get her into the right spec. I need to... I need to... Yeah, we want unholy. Not gonna level his blood. Hello, late night. <laughs> and all the Bob Rosses. How are you doing? There we go. Yep. So, yeah. Delete all the macros. Get out of here. Let's start fresh. She's still got macros from Shadowlands. Boof. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We are going to get alts prepped. That's just like how it says. Preps. So exciting, I know, right? <laughs> but that is because starting next Thursday, not tomorrow, but next week, the 15th for NA servers, probably 16th or something for EU, um, however that pans out. The 50% leveling buff is going to be here. Yep, 50% XP buff, exactly. That'll be here toward the end of next week. Comp stop as well. Yeah, comp stop's not great for leveling though, that doesn't really help. <laughs> I don't think you can even do comp stop until you're 70. Which is a shame, or I totally would, but imagine leveling with Comstomp. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> uh, uh, right, I need to pull in... I need Discord. I need my loadouts. Uh, I am still looking for the banana I got with the bubbles. Oh yeah? Well, it's somewhere on your screen. There's like a little tomato or something. Let me close my shades. Her eyes are freaking out. Ugh, she doesn't like the light. It's a vampire camera. There we go. Anyway, um, somewhere on your screen there should be a tomato or something. You can open it and it's like your inventory. And then you can choose whatever you've gotten and throw it. But I know the last couple of days that, that uh, extension wasn't working quite properly, so they might be having some issues. Uh, it isn't, but if you want some honor to buy transmog, I gotcha. Yeah, see, I just wait... Um, until the end and expansion is over and then I can farm the uh, whatever you call those marks of honor and then I buy the sets that way instead of buying them while they're alive otherwise I'd never get the full set and I've wasted honor points <laughs> so it's a good way to do that that bot still didn't work yeah it didn't work at all I was sitting here waiting for it <laughs> oh well that's okay hello dabs welcome welcome glad to have you here Okay, we need unholy. So we're gonna import that loadout. Boop. There we go. 
Import. Okay, we got that. Now we need to import my settings. Use. Boop. Excellent. And then fix my macros real quick. So yeah, this might be kind of a boring stream, but if anything, we're going to chill and chat. It says source is offline. Still? I'm going to have to like, I don't know what's wrong with that thing. That one's a bit glitchy. It might end up being gotten rid of because that's like the second time it's done that. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look into that one after stream. I thought I fixed it yesterday, but I guess not. If it's a pain in the butt, then we just, it'll just, I don't know, do something with it. So I can't sit here and play handhold all of my extensions, you know? <laughs> Jeez. The sticker one seems to work fine. But, oh well. What do you do? Because I can tell you right now, I certainly ain't offline, now am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's the stickers. Well, the stickers work at least, so just that. Okay, so she's all Gucci. Yep. Excellent. Perfect. Got my items. Good. Now we're gonna go back to Urgrimmar. Turn on war mode. Get our DMF buff. And hearth back to Oribos. So. Oh yeah! That's what we doing. And I'm only doing it on the 50s. Just the 50s. I like that these... Can I just say I like that these guys come from Zandalar over here? Just like, sup? What's going on? We're the skeleton gang. <laughs> I honestly love it. I, I honestly do. Alright. So we want war mode. Bink. Heard a herd. Oh yeah, I can fix my icons while I'm on here. So yeah, this might be uh, not super exciting, but you know. Perfect time to join in Skeleton Gang, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I need to prep my alts too. Got any tips? Well, I mean, I suppose. Just make sure they're set up properly so that you don't have to waste your DMF buff before you log out. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Borders, buttons. If I can get time today, I might put that out as a video. A list of what I'm doing to prepare. <sighs> Let's see. I could go out tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll see if I can get that out in time. Because I'm not very good at the off the top of my head list person. I have to think about it. That's why I write things down. <laughs> Uh, tracking button. Right. See, I'm already forgetting what I'm doing. I'm like, what? There we go. Play master, no target, not dig sites. We want that. All this stuff off. Get out of here. Really wish that was like an account wide setting or something. Oh well. There we go. Uh, I broke the Black, em Bla the Black Empire, whatever that is. The Black Empire instance while questing the Dragon Isles. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, but yeah, as far as tips, I can walk you through what I'm doing. I'm just logging on. To I'm only doing my 50s, so there's that. Um, but I'm logging into old alts that I, that I want to get to level 60. And I'm making sure they have the right items in their bag. I'm setting up their... Abilities, talents, making sure they have heirlooms. Yep, see? I even need to walk through it. This character is so old, she doesn't even have her heirlooms on. Heirlooms. Dude. See? Head, shoulder. Cloak. Chest. Uh, pants. Uh, weapon. Ring. Ring. Neck. Trinket. Trinket. There we go. Oh, looks like it equipped most everything. You put a picture in Discord? Nice. Awesome. We'll have to look at that later. Okay. 
There we go. So I can delete those since it doesn't want my trinkets and rings. Pfft. Get out of here. Dang Pandaria stuff. Alright. There we go. Now we can move on. Yes, heirlooms. Now that she's all properly set up officially. And then I'm going to get my Dark Moon Fair buff. I turned on war mode. And then I'm going to go park her in Ouroboros. Oops, okay. Fine. Give me your tickets. Because I'm going to level her in Shadowlands. Because a lot of these 50s are so old, they all still have Threads of Fate activated. Which you can't even do anymore, so, you know, to level with. So, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to do, do some of that. Hello, Bard. It's going just fine. How are you doing? There we go. Okay. Excellent. Now we just hearth. And then as soon as we get over there, we immediately log out. <laughs> uh, hello, Kek. And Huggle, how are you doing? I was thinking of writing down a list with all the things I need to do with each alt, uh, such as making sure they're transmogged, have the biggest bags, uh, mount hearthstone picked for each one, etc. Yep, that would be do it. That that would be do it. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean. That would do it. That's like, pretty much exactly what we're doing here. Uh, 53, perfect. I'm good, tired, but good. <laughs> totally understandable. RBG is nice. Indeed it is. Hmm, I'm good, mostly bored, job hunting, how are you? I am doing fine. Getting a whole bunch of alts set up. Yeah, past the looms are fine. Um, for the leveling next week. And on my 50s, I need BM. All my 50s are going to get to 60, just 60. And I have a lot, <coughs> excuse me. If <laughs> my voice dies, I have a lot of uh, 50 to 60 leveled alts. You know, 51 to 59-ish. And I can't really use them for anything because I can't do DF stuff because they're not 60. And I can't use them for leveling testing because they're over 50. So they, they need some attention. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get them ready for, let's see, macros. For next week. Oh, too much content. Now I go on DN4 and click easy clap. <laughs> nice. <sighs> I can't wait to level my butt off when the buff is active. Ah, oh, you and me both. That's like all I'm going to be doing for a month. <laughs> and not just my 50s too. Silver, if she's able, um, she's got some 60s to get to 70. Actually, I think they're 50 too. I'll have to ask her about that. Maybe she can level with me after all. Because she stopped at the beginning of Shadowlands. So, uh... Might be able to do that. We'll see. She just moved. So she hasn't really had a lot of time right now. Story of my life. Friends that never have any time for me. Sad. <laughs> uh, I'm, that, I'm that sad puppy friend that'll just be there when you're ready for me. Love me when you can. <laughs> That makes me sound so pathetic. I am sorry, me. I didn't mean to insult myself. There we go. And this. And that. And that. Okay, because he doesn't have that yet. There. He's got his things already. I can get rid of that. I'm just going to stay BM for now. All right. It do be like that. It really do, Keck. It really do. Sometimes it just, it, it do be like that. But that's okay. That's how it be. Life goes on. <laughs> I am Alliance. I should not go to the horde side. There we go. I really wish we had a neutral portal here in Dalaran. That drives me nuts. Well, it's like just faction city portal spot, please. Uh, did you hear about Curse Forge being hacked? I did. I saw the, all the Minecraft add-ons were having a uh, were get were. It was not so much that they were hacked. I read the article on it, 
It was that a, a developer purposefully uploaded um, some sort of malware or something in his add-ons or something. I'm like, dude, that's... Why would you do that? It's kind of like when uh, something similar happened. It was quite a while ago now. Um, with the... Was it Altaholic? The original owner of Altaholic turned it over to someone else for a while because they were going to stop. But then that person did it so every time you updated Altaholic, it purposefully wiped your TRP profile. I wish I was making this up, but it's like, dude, what was wrong with you? <laughs> well, I didn't have that happen to me, luckily, but but uh, still, I was like, why? Why do people do this? Oh, the Alliance. Oh, I need to turn on, let's see. No, I did. Okay. But yeah, kind of the same thing where Minecraft add-ons. Luckily, nothing on uh, WoW that I saw. It was just Minecraft stuff. So, that sucks. Oof, that's messed up. That ain't right. I know, right? It's like, what? <laughs> but yeah, I hear, that's I read the article on it to see. I was like, oh no, should I not update my add-ons? So, I mean, I might still be cautious for a little while on Curse, just even though I only use WoW, just in case. But according to the article, it was just a... Uh, add-on developer for Minecraft that uploaded some malware to his stuff. So, they weren't hacked, but, you know. Which is good. They weren't actually hacked. Not officially. It was like legal hacking, if you want to look at it that way. <laughs> the famous words of Alfred Pennyworth, some people just want to see the world burn. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, ain't that the truth. Yeah. Maybe that's how we sum up Shadowlands. And the last part of BFA. Some people just want to see the world burn. <laughs> uh, if they played it more like that, might be, it might have been more interesting. As far as the bad guy plot. You're gonna go bye bye crack and have fun. Have a good night, Blick. Thank you for popping in. Glad to see you as always. Thank you for being here. Okay, is everything else good on this all? I've got my looms, I've got my stuff in my bag. I set up my bars, my talents are good. All right, hearth. War mode's on. Yep, that would have made uh, for sense as a story. <laughs> right, it kind of would have made sense. Like, he's just, she's just evil. She's just, it's, it's, it's just evil. Does there need to be an explanation? No. There doesn't always need to be an explanation. <laughs> okay, 60. Here we go, 52. Ah, uh, oh well. What do you do? It's pretty funny. I mean, and that's coming from someone. I liked the Shadowlands stuff, so, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nemeria, for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Okay. All right, yeah, this boy is still in BFA gear. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> hmm, okay. Uh, so I need to switch him to enhancement. I like leveling as enhancement more than elemental. I love elemental, but it's a little slow. Enhancement, you just run around and slap everything, so <laughs> it works out. All right. Oh, we'll get this boyo all set up, too. Da, 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 da. Enhancement. And then we're gonna pull the loadout. Also, if you want my loadouts, in case you want to use my talents for some reason, I have them in my Discord. I posted them last night. There's a new little channel under the, uh, the, um... Kraken's Corner section. So if you want to see what my talents are, feel free. <sighs> Let's see. So this is in... in... import. There we go. Technically the Jailer wanted the opposite. He saw the cycle of life and death as flawed, so he was going to change it. Yeah, see that's why I liked him, honestly. Because he did have a good reason. Like, I was kind of... <laughs> I kind of agreed with him. I was like, I mean, it wouldn't hurt if we started over. This is kind of a shitty system that we have right now, so. I mean, if you just went about it a, a little bit of a different way, 
maybe we could have come to to an agreement of some sort. I don't know. Oh well. Oh, that's funny. My level 34 Demon Hunter, when I first started leveling him, he still had on Demon Hunter starting gear. <laughs> nice. There we go. I killed the Timeless Owl world boss with the Dark Moon buff last night. I am now five points away from being revered with the Black Prince rep. Nice. Uh, can you still get that? I guess if you're probably like at that point, you can still you can still kind of get that rep. Ah, uh, back in the day. I really wish they didn't take that out. It's not so much that they took out the rep itself. It's just when they took out the quest line for it, which is the mop legendary cloak. They, uh, that means you couldn't really do the Black Prince rep anymore. But I guess if you're on that stage, or not exalted, but have the rep, you could probably still get it. Interesting. All right, get all this on this boyo here. Yeah, is that everything? Let's see. Seven out of seven? Yes. Oof, that's Mog. There we go. So all this stuff first. Get out of here. And Mog. All right, let's do... Different weapons. <laughs> I already have a character using those, but boy, do I love those. Uh, let's see. Ooh, I could do these. These are always fun. Got the lightning axes. Yeah! Do the lightning axes. I like those. Lightning axes, lightning axes. They've Heck yes! Lightning axe time! <laughs> Love that they let us do that. I wish it wasn't shaman only, but it makes sense. We need more magic weapons. Like, do you see this? This is the offhand to the enhancement shaman legendary... Legendary? Not legendary. Artifact weapon from Legion. But since it's, you know, it's an own weapon, I can log it to both hands. We need more like this. Like, imagine a staff or a wand made of pure <laughs> arcane. Or, like, a death knight using a sword made purely of ice. Like, from their own magic. Right? That'd be sick. I would love that. Okay, I need to put this over here. Oh, I need to fix my stuff. Did I import? I did. Oh, you can still get Black Prince rep by killing Timeless Isle world boss once a week. Ah, that makes sense. That's, uh, Ordos. Yep. That makes sense. There we go. But of course, you can only get over there. Well, I guess you could get over there with a friend if someone carried you over there. I used to do that a lot. Um. Oh, right. I need to delete. Yeah. Yep. Ran out of room. Let's get all these. Get out of here. Be gone, old macros. Make way for the new ones. Yes. Okay, let's try that again. Re-import. Sorry. Use. There we go. That looks a little better. <sighs> okay, so that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. And... That one, DF is good, and this one. Okay, now I need to put this in the bank. Das Blanken. <laughs> uh, not Ordos. Oh, one of the four Celestials. Okay, got you. Did they count as world bosses? I was thinking Ordos or whatever his name was. Uh, I forgot about the Celestials. Let's see. I need... What do I need on this character? Gliders. And pots. There we go. Okay. Now I think he's good. Yep, his stuff looks fine. Okay. Excellent. 
Excellente. Now we go turn on war mode. Get our buff. Where's my hearth set? Uh, Ring of Fates, perfect. Excellente. Perfecto mundo. Okay, turn on war mode. Fight it hard. Uh, may have missed it, but is there any particular reason for leveling next week? Any super buff incoming? There is indeed. Starting the 15th and going all the way until July 11th, there is a 50% XP and rep buff for that whole duration. It also overlaps with Midsummer. It also overlaps with two different time walkings. It also overlaps with Darkwind Fair. I'm going to be putting a video out on it next Tuesday. You'll see a video on everything that it, that it overlaps with and covers and um, all that jazz. So, yes. Yes, indeed. For a whole month. It's like just shy of a couple days. Because that was from the 15th to the 11th. Uh, uh, almost, almost a whole month. We'll get a big-ass buff. <laughs> just pretty great. And you know sure as heck I'm going to... Uh, Join it. Ah, oh, the Joyous Journey for Retail Wrath Classic uh, has it until 19.6. 19, 19.6. Oh, right, because you're probably EU. I was like, what? Why is your date weird? <laughs> gotcha. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's the, uh, ours is the... What's ours called? Winds of Sanctuary. That's what ours is called. Ah, there we go. Getting my buff attack. Uh, do 19th Americanized. <laughs> yeah, that's why I just stick to, like, the physical month and then the day number afterwards. Just because, um, I don't, if it's just a bunch of numbers, people get confused. Because I used to work with international and... Various places all over the world apparently <laughs> organize their days, their dates differently, and that can get hella confusing. Like it's obvious when, like you know, the 19th. There's not 12 months, so obviously that's the day. But when it's an, a, a lower number, you can sure as sure as heck bet there was some shipping issues I had to deal with, and people were like, "But you said this date." I'm like, "No, no." <laughs> Month name, day number. Solved everything. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, not saying you have to do that. It's just I used to work in logistic, uh, logistics dispatch. We would ship stuff mostly around the U.S., but we would ship stuff by boat overseas as well. And because of that, I had to deal with a lot of international shipping companies. Back in my day. Just pain in the ass. <laughs> I don't miss it. I do not miss it. Hmm. Well, that was a tasty drink. My delightful bone broth. It's supposed to be like 88 degrees Fahrenheit today. Um, but the clouds came over, so <laughs> thank the Titans on that one. So it's it's only like 70. I'll take it. Okay, uh, I don't want to be in resto. I want to be in balance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we're going to import Bal. Whoops, if I could type properly. There we go. Import. Excellent. Okay. Got that, and now we want... Uh, get rid of all of our existing macros first. Get out of here! There we go. And import... This. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Alright. Um, 
Um, let's uh, fix the icons to make sure they switch properly. Charging my attack. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, she's got she needs gliders. That's what she needs. Gliders. And my heirlooms are good. My abilities are fine. Fine enough. Alright. Now we go turn on war mode. And get our buff. Excellent. Excellent! And that's it. That's 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 what we're doing for the next two hours. Are you guys excited? Uh real great content, am I right? <laughs> okay, war mode. And Dark Move Fire. Excellent. Excellente, here we come. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay, yes. Ugh, I'm so hyped. I want to level so badly. <laughs> but after whoever it was yesterday that had mentioned, uh, it was Hiru, that's who it was. Hiru was here in chat. Um, mentioned that I should get the Dark Moon Fair buff, and I was like, oh my gosh. That means I should set up my alts. I haven't touched them since, like, early Shadowlands. <laughs> At least in terms of, like, you know, actually use using them with, like, combat and stuff. Because, you know, you can run around and do stuff or, like, one-shot things and not have your talents set up. Or not be wearing your proper heirlooms or whatever, you know? Oh, does the buff stay even if the fair is over? It does indeed. It only lasts for an hour, and you can lose it if you die, but it will last for an hour. If you log out, um, the time won't disappear. So. Uh, what will disappear are the hats. I don't know if those are still a thing or not, but the, the hats that you can put on instead of the buff itself, those will disappear. Those require the, uh, the duration of the fair. The hats are still available? Perfect. Yep, those you can't use after the fair anymore. You used to be able to. Back in my day, you could stack up on hats and just constantly have the buff, which I guess is why they they made them a uh, timeout. Okay, and she's good. Excellent. But the buff itself, yes. You can uh you can still use it. Okay. Excellente. Oldie moldy. Oh, okay, did not do that. I'll uh, do some alts fair runs as well. Yeah, good idea, right? Because uh, I never, I don't usually bother just because it only lasts an hour. It's only 10%. Like, if you're doing a full, like, 10 to 70. <laughs> That's, you know, you're better off saving it if you're able for, like, the higher levels, because that's when it starts slowing down. But since I'm only, like, mainly doing 50 to 60, specifically, and it already, right now, takes less than an hour to get from 50 to 60, then perfect. That'll speed me up, since I have a bunch of these to get through. I need to switch specs. I am in Feral. Uh, you need to record yourself doing that back in my day and make it a sticker. <laughs> back in my day! <laughs> that is a good idea. <laughs> I'll add that one to the list. Uh, back in my day, old man voice. That's my old man voice. As redeem. There we go. Redeem slash sticker. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you for the idea, late night. Uh, okay. Let's see here. 
Um, so we need a new loadout and we want balance. Let's go grab that <laughs> squeaky toy. Where are my arc? Where's my loadout? So there. I need you need to come down just a wee bit. There we go. Balance to it. There it is. Import. Bow. Changing my talents. I'm so glad that we can change our talents wherever we want now. Can you believe that? Okay, here we go again. Back in my day, not only could you not change talents wherever you wanted, it had to be in rested areas. You also, even further, like for spec specifically, every time you changed a spec, you had to pay gold. Anyone remember that? <laughs> Gross. We have come a long way in terms of uh, quality of life, let me tell you. Uh, let's see, let's fix this real quick. Uh, just a quick reminder for those with EU accounts that like pet battles, June 11th is the pet leveling day in the garrison. Easy to miss and hasn't happened for close to six months. Nice! Squirt day! Squirt day, uh, June 11th, that's in just a few days. For uh, all you EUers out there. Nice. Well, good luck indeed with that. That's always fun. Use. Uh, what's the add on that shows color on your gear? This is LVI. LVI, and specifically LVI Shadow and Light. The addition to it does that. Um, Let's see. So we got that. I pulled that in, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, I need to fix my profiles here. Da, 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 da. Tell this character has never been in balance before. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I'm a chicken. <laughs> I remember when I had to feed my hunter pets. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yep, the dual specialization achievement. Yep. Yeah, I knew I'd have some oldie moldies in here with me. <laughs> oh, I remember those days. Gross, right? Ugh, I don't miss that. I had to have so much gold. Especially as a paladin. Especially as a paladin who had... And that was back when um, uh, the base gear stats, like strength, intellect, agility, all that, didn't change with your spec. You had to have specifically different sets. So, back in my day when I raided Mop, I played all three specs. So I had three completely different sets in my bags. And I had to pay gold every time I switched. So it was getting damn near expensive. <laughs> I was about to go broke. It was insane. Oh, I don't miss it. Oh, I don't miss it. Uh, and each pet had a specific diet. I remember that. Yes. I didn't play Hunter nearly that much way back that far. Um, I had one, but when I learned that my pet could die, I, I immediately stopped playing Hunter. I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Trivial, target, dig site, fix all this stuff. There we go. Okay. Uh, I need to get items, that's what I need. And ammo, right. You could run out of arrows and stuff. <sighs> yeah, that was the other turn off. I was like, mm, I'm going to play something else. <laughs> yep. Uh, did I not? No, uh, this is one of the broken ones. Oops. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, a bad slot for your quiver. Yep. A bag slot, yeah. Ugh, back in the day. My old hunter never got that achieved. I was BM for life to Legion with survival, bringing you back melee. Oh, nice. Congrats. Or not congrats, depends on how you look for it. <laughs> I was trying to get hum uh, Humar and Barons as ally back then. It took me a week of waiting until he showed up. I tamed him. I was happy. However, no one told me I had to keep feeding him, and I remember him running away from me while at the auction house. I was sad. Oh... 
Yeah, I think I would have cried too, honestly. I would have been like, no! Especially with how difficult it is to get some of these pets. No way, man. No way. Okay, I got war mode on. Yes. Ring of Fates. Hearth. Okay, we're good. Well, let's go. Bat. Bat, 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 bat. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Er, er, er. I missed. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's turn our quest while we're here. Excellent. Let's get our boof. Our buffula. And then we'll hearth. And do it all over again on the next character. Isn't this exciting? Yay! <laughs> oh, that's okay. Normally I don't do this so hardcore. I'm very casual about this type of stuff, as you can tell. But, um, a 50% buff that overlaps with a, a holiday that gives an XP buff, and Dark Moon Fair, and two different time walkings. Alright. 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 <laughs> I can't say no to that. Can't say no to that. I'm doing the same alt prep. I'm glad they still have the port to the Dark Moon entrance. Ugh, you and me both. You and me both. I know when they got on their, uh, port delete frenzy back in BFA or whatever it was. I was not pleased. All right, she's good. Uh, here's another one. Got some rogues and monks. Just the 50s. We're only doing the 50s with this setup. The 60 pluses, because I do have a few 60s I want to level that I need to get to 70. Um, but I'm not going to bother with the buff on those, because by the time I finish all my 50s, uh, the Dark Moon Fair will probably be back around again. <laughs> Okay. Um, your heirlooms are good. Uh, let's get rid of your macros. Yeah, she's got duplicates anyways. Probably need to switch specs. I'm man outlaw? Yeah. Okay, let's switch you to sub. Sub arena. Okay. Means I can't have my pretty lightning swords anymore. Wah. But that's okay. That is okay. Okay, sub. And we need to grab sub rogue. Here it is. Import. Sub. There we go. Uh, and eventually, at some point, I'll get around to setting up all the other specs, too. But for now, I just picked my favorites. So I'm not setting up, you know, <laughs> a gazillion different specs for all these alts. Because normally I would play them, but they're all alts that they haven't messed not even once with the new uh, talent system. And I haven't changed those other specs with it at all either, so... You know, I spent all last night getting the main specs I want to play ready, so <laughs> plenty, plenty, plenty. Um, okay, so I need to switch my weapons. Yep, can't use those. Let's see, daggers. Here we go, daggerinos. I need that 
And this. Okay. I believe she's good. Let's mog my daggers into something interesting. Let's do. Let's see. It kind of fits with my piratey theme here. Oh, those are kind of cool. We'll go with those. I don't think I've used those. Hacksaw. Cool. We'll go with hacksaws. Okay. Beautiful. I messed up. I was doing a vendor search and accidentally bought a 27k gold worth item. Worth of an item that doesn't even sell to a vendor. I got only 3k back from that investment. <laughs> no profit loss, 24k. Rip. And now I no longer have 30k gold on Moonguard. Rip. Ripperino. You know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh. All right. Let's get down there. And she can just use the defaults in the charger. It's fine. Uh, you can open a ticket for that situation. Yeah, it's a good idea. If they feel nice enough, maybe they'll uh, fix it for you. All right. There we go. So she's all good, right? Let's see, where's my hearth set? Ring of Fates, perfect. Hey, most of these should still be at Ring of Fates because that's the last place I actually had them. Got all of my heirlooms. I got my stuff. I did not turn on war mode. Mm, back to Dalaran. You can't. I really, really wish you could turn on a war mode in any major city. So, like, I know they added it to to to, uh, to Valdraken now, which is super nice. But I wish it was any major city. So, like, Dalaran, you know, Oribos, Boralus, Zandalar. I really wish you could turn on war mode in any of those major cities as well. That'd be really nice. But no. <sighs> Try this again. For the lions. Okay. These hacksaws are really big. <laughs> Guess that's the point. All right. Okay. Now we can go back to the Dragon Fair. <laughs> uh, I got to get the war mode buff first. Because if I have to go back to Stormwind to turn it on and then back to Oribos, that not only wastes my hearth, it wastes my buff. So, yeah. Alright. Let's get down there and get jiggy with it. Real exciting stream today, huh, guys? <laughs> oh, but that's okay. That's how it be sometimes. Sometimes you just you just gotta bite the bullet and do a little bit of maintenance, you know. When you're when you're uh, the master of an alt army, sometimes you just you just have to do a little cleanup. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? We are getting our my level 50s prepped for the leveling buff next week. So I'm snagging Darkmoon Fair, turning on war mode, getting their bags cleaned up, getting their heirlooms on if they don't have them, etc, etc. Talents, fixing that. That way I don't waste my buff. I sounded like Milhouse Mana Storm for a second has a sore throat and yelled for the alliance. <laughs> exactly. Your company is good enough. Oh, well thank you Puffendor. We appreciate that. And your company is as well. It's nice to have all of you here. Thank you, Dabs. Uh, is there benefit to going to Oribos? I was planning on doing time walking. Well, time walking, if you're referring to the dungeons and not crummy time, the dungeons are level 60 plus only. And I'm only getting alts to 60, so I can't dungeon, unfortunately. So that's off the table. Um, and all of these alts, almost all of them, not all of them, but most of them, are old from Shadowlands, which means I'm still in Threads of Fate. So I can level with Threads of Fate. 
And let me tell you, it was delicious. You can't do that unless you've already had alts locked into that from back in Shadowlands before they removed it. Um, so. Unfortunately, late night, there's not really any way you can take advantage of that unless you specifically already have alts still locked in Threads of Fate. Uh, seems fewer attack is still broken. I saw that. I don't know. I don't know what's up with why it's broken. I thought I fixed it earlier. I messed with it. It says it's online and working, but it won't connect. I don't know. I might have to like. I don't want to delete it and have to like reinstall it because that's a pain in the butt. It took me a while to set up. So if it continues to be broken, I just won't. I might just get rid of it. I don't know. Oh, that makes sense. Mine are all sixties. Yes. Yeah, minor. I'm only doing the 50s. First, anyways. I do have some 60s I want to get to 70, but I'm doing the 50 to 60 first. Um, to get that out of the way. Because I have a lot of those, because I can't do anything with them. They're not 60, so I can't do any Dragonflight stuff. And they're not... Like, they're too high level to use for leveling tests. So, they're just a bunch of useless alts sitting here. So I gotta get them... Uh, prepped. It's like I gotta get you so you're outlaw too. Do you want to sub? Uh, to be honest, I don't watch the stream for gameplay. I find it fun and enjoyable just chatting with everyone. Well, I'm glad. And that's mainly why I stream too. Is uh, I can easily do all this stuff by myself and still get the same results, but having you all here to hang out and chat with is, is enjoyable, you know? People to talk to while I'm doing really boring stuff. <laughs> And I kind of save the stuff I don't really want to do um, for stream. I know that probably sounds terrible, but it's because y'all make it fun. So, you know, you, uh, you make it enjoyable. Okay, get that there. We want sub. Uh, it's much more enjoyable with friendos. Exactly. Yes. Precisely the reason. Okay, now, now that I have that, let's pull open my macros. Delete all these macros. Uh, same. Enjoy the good company, even though I'm not able Pogo to play WoW. Fog of Winnie, the thing's so cute. Uh, I'll still be trying to catch these streams. Oh well, thank you, Zula, and I'm glad to have you here. It's your your presence is welcome. <laughs> your virtual digital presence. There we go. Got that. Oh wait. I need to turn off the things. There we go. Okay. Fix this macro. Let's get that over. You are in the way. There we go. Oh, I, what did I knock over? Oh, it's just my turner. Ugh. Oops. Okay. Uh, and that one, and that one, and that one. Okay, which means you need daggers. Well, the rest of your heirlooms are... Oh, your necklace is bad. So you need dagger, dagger, neck. Same, I enjoy listen while working. Perfect. Yeah, that's why I like listening to streams too, honestly, when I'm not streaming personally. I can listen to other people <laughs> while they're doing stuff while I'm working. So it it's a it works. Works good. So I'm right there with you. There we go. Okay. So he is now set up. Let's get proper daggers here. Kind of sucks they remove the elixir of rapid mind and don't have things like it anymore. Yeah, I feel that. The only only XP buff pot that still exists is the draft of ten lands. I have to say it sarcastic like that because we say draught around here. But the draft of ten lands from BFA. However, it only works from... I think it works 1 to 10, but it's... Essentially 10 to 49. It didn't get scaled up with the rest of BFA for some reason. So you can't use it very much. <laughs> Thank you for the head pads, water goddess. Uh, that one's so cute. Let's see, this is a piratey character. I need something. Ooh, that looks nice. 
We'll go with that. It's a nice dagger. Notorious Gladiator Stabber. Ah, that's, uh, Shadowlands PvP. Lovely. Okay, so he's good. Let's... Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Alright. Get his war mode on, and then we'll get the buff, and then we'll hearth, and then we'll get on to the next character. I still have a warrior buff on, apparently. <laughs> That's funny. For the horn. I wonder if you're wondering why all of my alts are just on the Cinder Maid. Um, the base mount I put for my macro before I customize it is is the Cinder Maid. <laughs> so I'll worry about their mounts later. I'm not too. I don't care too much about that right now. Uh, there was a rumor about pay to win XP potion or item that was going to be sold at the shop at some point. Huh. I doubt it, but we'll see if that ever happens. I know Blizzard's usually pretty careful about not going that direction as far as pay to win stuff. I mean, you could argue that that's what the WoW token is, but. Mm. You know, I'm all game for some legal gold buying. <laughs> Alright, let's get this boof and then we'll take a short break and go get a coffee because I want a coffee. Do I want an iced one or a hot one? It's not that hot. It's actually nice, kind of cool today, which is very nice. Where am I going? Buff. <laughs> Buff arena. Ooh, you need to fix your thing. Let me look at your... No, 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 no. Not exit game. LVY. Uh... Shadow and light. Skins. Yeah, your merchant frame's not on. Skins. Which the rest of it's fine. Buffs. Yeah. The rest of it's good. There we go. Oh, I don't have enough bubbles for too much coffee yet. Someday. <laughs> yes, I know. I made that one really expensive. I'm sorry. But because it's not necessarily obnoxious, but because it is an overwhelming sound, I didn't want people to get full of themselves and spam it. <laughs> and then absolutely just you know, ruin everyone on it, so. Tried to make it a little special. Uh, the pow WoW token is only pay to win because they allow BOE and dungeon raid gear on the auction house. I guess so, yeah. I was referring to it as more of using it to buy carries like I do. I buy, uh, AOTC carries when there's a mount. Or KSM for the mount. And the portals, too, technically. Um... So that's kind of how I was looking at it. Three more tunes to prep for me? Nice! I have like 80. <laughs> I don't know, actually know how many. In fact, let me pull up my uh, my thing here. Uh, I'll log out of him real quick. No way I saved my buff. Let me, let's see, here's my roster. Yeah, I didn't do anything with it yet. Let me fix this here. Um, clear. And we want all. I don't want to clear it. And we'll do. Do I want to include the 40s? Upper 30s? Hmm. We'll select all and just get rid of the 60s here. Or, nah, I'll keep them all and get rid of 70. That's what we'll do. And then, Swords Day. Okay, so for 50s specifically, I have 91 to 195. Let me do some math. So 195 minus 91. I have 104. <laughs> there you go. I have 104. That's how many I'm doing. <laughs> uh, understandable. It does make it extra special. Yeah, I wanted it to, you know, to last and not have people get sick of it, so. Hello, Mikhail. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Hope you're feeling good. How are you doing? I need to make a roster for mine. I have a notepad, but it isn't great. 
Well, if you want, I have my spreadsheets. Uh, the public version of those, you're totally welcome to copy those and use them for yourself if you like. I have a couple of tutorial videos on there on the first page for there too, how to use it and all that jazz, so. I already wind, excellent. But it's been absolutely lovely. I'm glad that Canary got me into the Google spreadsheets for my alts, because it's been so nice. Oh, this is wind. Ugh. 104 characters, and I'm over here trying to stick to like three to four. Well, that's just my 50s, too. I have total... Let me look at my main. Total, I have 295, it looks like. That's what I'm at right now. So, because, here, I'll show you. Eh, can I make this go up? No, I can't. It's hard to see. Uh, let me make it a little smaller. There we go. Yeah. I have one of every race class combo and only a couple duplicates. Only three duplicates. And the reason there's every race class combo, even the ones that don't exist yet, is those are bodies that will be race changed in the future. So I can use them for, for leveling. Not all of them are like, you know, level 50 plus. Some of them are just level 10. But that's because they are being prepared for leveling tests after 10.15. So I would like to still get a 1 to 60, technically 1 to 61 apparently, guide, but they're doing chromie time stuff. Um, why is there two of these? Did I not delete one? I gotta delete all of them. Oh, but they're doing chromie time stuff in 10.15 apparently, so I... It would be smart if I waited, otherwise the guide would last, like, a month. <laughs> so, you know. Use. There we go. Uh, I'ma just faint over here. I would never manage that many, though I know you likely have that many due to your leveling guides. Yeah, that's 100% the reason. I only ever wanted, like, one, maybe two accounts at the most. Um, of, of worth of characters. And even then, that's not full accounts. That's just having them across a couple accounts so that I could use two different accounts to do stuff. But yeah, if you want to make leveling guides like I do, and you want to properly test them all and get the data, you gotta have the alts to do so. So, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly the reason. Uh, six for seven. My necklace is wrong. Let's get the right one here. Eventually, I'll get all these leveled up one day. Uh, neck. Okay. So I don't need to put anything in there. My items are good, so that's good. My looms are good. Okay, so to storm when we go. Storm wind. Here we go. Nice. Storm Veen, Storm Veen. Oh yeah, I was gonna go get um, a coffee. I forgot already. Pfft. I'm all like work, 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 work. <laughs> That's where my brain's at. Alright. Wait, I didn't put my buff on. Shit. Well, at least we can just fly back. <laughs> it's just right here for our alliance. Rohord's a little more of a problem because the, their Dark Moon Fair isn't near Orgrimmar. It's all the way over in, in, in Mulgor by Thunder Bluff. So, uh. And you can't turn on war mode in Thunder Bluff. Pfft. Are in the city now? Here's the alliance. Here we go. Thank goodness it's a literal hop, a quick literal hop back. I see what you did there. <laughs> yes. Uh, exactly. 
Okay, now we have war mode on. Now we can... Now we can go to the fair. Boop. Excellent. Go down, get the buff. Oh, I just noticed! The, the rabbit has carrots in its bags. And it's little saddlebags. I just, I just noticed that. Oh! It's so cute. All the, the, the mount art team, whoever it is, the various people that do that, they did such a good job on all these mounts. They're so cute. <sighs> okay. You know what I want? I want, like, a ferret, weasel, or, like, um, uh, not, not a skink. Oh, that's a lizard. Um, whatever the little ones are called. Well, well, that type of mount. I want like a like a a ferret mount of some sort, or a little weasel mount. They're so freaking cute. <laughs> They're noodle hamsters. That's what I call them. Noodle hamsters. <sighs> An otter. Yeah, the otters. We definitely have otters. The otters are pretty adorable. I do love the otters. But like. What are they called? Not a weasel. Oh gosh. They're the little they have such a weird name. They're like the tiny version of a weasel. I can't remember what they're called. Uh well, it sucks so they're closest to, to that. They are, yeah. Not a ferret. They're smaller than that. Gosh. Skink is the only thing that comes to mind, and that's a lizard that is not <laughs> What are they called? Okay, hold on. That's gonna drive me crazy. Tiny weasel pet. No. Stoat! It's a stoat. Stoat. These are my favorite. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at it! Ugh. Not videos, I want images. Look at it! Isn't it it's so cute? Little stoat. No. He's so happy looking. Look at it! No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I want. I want one of those. It's so cute. That's what I want. I don't know why, how I could forget. Stoat. It's such a weird word. Stoat. But yeah, they're like tiny adorable hamster ferrets. <laughs> they're so cute. And they're little. They're not very big. Like you can fit one in your hand. They're so cute. Ah, <sighs> okay. That's what I was thinking, lol. Skink is a lizard. I know, right? I'm like, why skink? <laughs> but I knew I knew it was a weird word like that. Uh, so. Not skink. Well, stinks. My cousin had skinks. So I know what those are. They're lizards, but... You know. I was not even thinking when I said parakeet. Yeah, I was kind of wondering why you said parakeet. I'm like, that's... I mean, I know I said skink, but that's even further out there. <laughs> Uh, all right, before we get this character set up, we're going to take a break or I'm going to forget again. I want a coffee. Parakeet is a bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. So I will be right back. I'm going to go make a coffee.
何Bunny. Cool story, bro. Ha! 
Daddy! Cringe. Bunny. Perfect. Wow. Okay, Hello. I am back. <laughs> I see y'all are having fun with stickers over here. <laughs> Puggle Bunny. Oh, that one's so cute. Okay, I got me an iced coffee and I was working on... Let's see, let me fix something here real quick. Where did I put that? don't quite know where I put that text. Hold on one second. See. Yeah, no, just me, senpai. Save. Oh, it's gonna be in the in the moment of por favor. There we go. Okay. Nope. Where are you whining at me? Why'd you make the sound? Save it. Oh, you did. You're just fast. Okay. This new. This new laptop I got, I got a new laptop so I could, uh, you know, for my videos and stuff. Because my old one is, well, starting to chug a little. And it's so fast with everything it does. I'm like, did you do the thing already? And it already did it. And I'm like, oh, it was so fast I didn't even... <laughs> it's just instantaneous with everything it does. I'm like, wow. Okay. Cool. Anyway, back to what we were doing here. All right, I am wind, uh, good, I need, I need, I need, wind walker, import, whoops, there we go, wind, 
<laughs> okay, there we go. Alright, uh, macros. Delete all the macros. Okay, bring in the new ones. Use. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All my ma my my abilities. And that and that and this and this and that and this one and that one and that one. Okay. Uh, I need deep one pots. Okay, I think this character is good. We can go turn on our buffs. You inspired me to go work on my cat legendary. I couldn't complete the Shannon part. Going to have to bring in a friend next week so I can actually break the, the traps. Cat legendary. Oh, you're talking about the, um, the staff, the Terragosa staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully... Yeah, that part for the... Yeah, you talk... Okay, I had to get caught up with you. I was like, the what? <laughs> yes, I know the part you're talking about because I just did that last week. That was a pain in the butt. I had to grab... Um, I've heard that you can apparently do it with pets. Um, but like, as an evoker, I don't have a pet like a hunter. And so I had to grab a second account and have a second character just sit there so that he would do the, the traps for Shannox. His, uh, he won't do the traps if there's not a second person, apparently. So, that was interesting. That was interesting. Are my legs, like, way out there? <laughs> that looks funny. Alright, war mode. Ah, I need to fix my icons. Shakti map, buttons, not calendar, button, here we go. Tracking, trivial, turn off target, off all this stuff. There we go. Now we're good. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm stuck on that part too. Yeah, that was a pain. I, I tried and tried and tried and I could not get him to do his thing and I was like, what's going on here? And I looked it up. Apparently, he won't do the crystal trap thingies if uh, there's only one person. So, you have to have either a second person. Some people were saying they were cheesing it with hunter pets, but I'm like, you can't do the staff with a hunter, so that's out of the question. <laughs> And trinkets that summon pets, but I don't have any, and I don't know where to get any, so I wasn't going to bother looking into that. So I just grabbed a second account. Can evokers even get the legendary staff quest? They absolutely can. They can indeed. I'm almost done with it on mine. And I should have it either next week or the week after. Are we fair? Can't turn it. Really? Why do I have the quest again if I already have that item? Well, whatever. It's fine. <sighs> so, they can indeed. Alright. Yep, because originally back on uh, Alpha Beta they couldn't. But that was something I vied for when I was doing testing and stuff. I was like, please let Evoker get it. I want to be a dragon that turns into a dragon. Thank you. That would help immensely with my RP. And shortly after it went live, they fixed it. It was borked at first during launch, but they fixed it shortly after, so. So yes, indeedy. Alright, war mode. We Off to Orbos. Ooh, that's awesome. We'll have to start it. Yes! What classes can use it again? Any caster? So like, uh, I don't know if elemental shamans can, 
But I know basically any intellect user, so mage, priest, warlock, evoker, um... Is that it? Monk, maybe? Mist monk? Maybe? I feel like there was more. Let me look it up. Let me look up that quest. Let's see. Staff. Oh, I have a I have a guide I was using. If I still have it saved. Maybe not. Because I finished already. Yeah, I think I got rid of it already. Uh staff. Uh Terry goes to staff line. Druid. That's another one. I know Druid can do it. Yeah, definitely. What classes? You gonna tell me what classes on this one? Uh, no. Okay. What classes? See, when you ask me things, this is how I figure things out. <laughs> <laughs> I just go look it up. I'm like, hmm, let's see here. Um, um, question. Not gonna get an answer here? Well, maybe if I look up the specific item here. Does the quest give XP? Oh, I don't, I have no idea. Yeah, shaman. Shaman, mage, warlock, druid, evoker. Wait, but priests can do it too, can't they? Can priests not do it? I was pretty sure priests could. Yeah, there it is. It's just, I'm just blind. Yeah, priest, shaman, mage, warlock, druid, evoker, and not monks, apparently? So, if that's correct, that's what it says. There you go. Ah, I was wasting my buff, darn it. Oh well, it's okay. <sighs> oh, your XP buff is going to be used up. You didn't log out. I, I just saw it. I was like, we'll see. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> a couple minutes won't kill it. Not a big deal. I won't you likely won't use the full hour anyways because um on the few alts I've leveled between 50 straight 50 all the way to 60 in Threads of Fate it took me about 45 minutes without any buffs and uh yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried. I definitely won't use the full up. I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. Maybe faster. That'd be nice. There we go. As long as I don't die, that is. If it if I die, I can't I can't refresh it. Uh, uh Give me just a minute. Kevin in her heart interrupted you? Got ads? Oh, gotcha. You're fine, Debs. Um, okay, let's see here. So, let's get- oh, nope, where are you going? Where are you going, darling? Get rid of all of my macros. Make sure that's all clean. Um, ooh, she needs heirlooms. Oldy moldy don't got no looms. Okay, on my shoulders. Uh, cloak, chest, pants, um, so I can mog properly, because I like those weapons. We'll do two hands, uh, ring, neck, um, trinket, trinket. I am back now. Does the quest give XP? Does anyone know? I have no idea, honestly. I've only ever done it a couple times. Thank you so much for the fall or follow for the sub Abyssus. Super appreciate your support because thanks to folks like you, I can keep working and doing what I'm doing. I don't know why it does it twice, but <laughs> you get a double a double thank you. So <laughs> thank you so much, Abyssus. <sighs> Is that everything? Yes. There we go. Okay. Excellent. 
All right, let's go put away her thingy. Let's grab her proper items. Gliders. It does it twice because if it feels, uh, if it does it once enough, it feels like it wasn't grateful enough. I'm, I suppose. Is that a reference to something? Because <laughs> I certainly didn't get that one. Sorry. I'm not very good with references. Okay, Windwalker. Import. Wind. There we go. Okay. And let's pull it. No, just a joke. I ah, gotcha. Okay. Apologies if things go over my head. Sometimes it doesn't just, just doesn't click with me. <laughs> you know, it happens. Okay. There we go. And that one. And that one. And that one. And this one. And that one. I do that because sometimes the icons get stuck and they won't switch between, um, you know, because I use shift mods for my macros. Um, and sometimes they won't shift. It'll just stay one icon and it gets confusing. Okay. She's good. She is red day. So, to Urgrimmar we go for a war mode and dark bear. And dumpf, our dumpf buff. Just got Ombre, the baby fire elemental pet from the Fire Act Assault. Isn't it so cute? I love these little like baby elementals that they did. They're not just tiny elementals. They actually like baby fired them. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. Ah, she's aggressive. Aggressive little gobby. Guess that's why she took up monk school. She's too angry. <laughs> she took up monk school for therapy. <laughs> that's amusing. I like that thought. She's just really angry all the time! Meditating! <laughs> ah, I need this character in my life now. Alright. Down we go. All pets should be babyfied. <laughs> uh, yes, I would definitely love a babyfied version of all the pets, to be honest. I do like the originals too, like the adult version. But I definitely want babyfied versions of all of them too. Like all of them, all of them. They're so cute. All right, in we go. So nice to be able to have worgen and goblin monks now. Can you believe that they that wasn't a thing? Ugh, it's so nice. I'm such a cute little monk. My cute little gobby with her big floppy ears and my bouncy ponytails. My purple hair. It's just amazing. I love it so much. <laughs> All right, buff acquired. Oh, let's see, where's this go? Broken tusk, that's okay. Mm, is she one that can't go to Oribos? Let me look at her map real quick. Colteris and the fleet rallying Meldraxxus. No, she can. Her hearth is just set in a different area. All right. Me, this is relaxing. The goblin, I'm so fucking relaxed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need this character in my life now. It's so funny. Okay. Um, that's fine. Over to Orbos we go. Just right here. Because unlike Dalaran, we have a, a portal directly to it. Turner. 
guess we'll just log her out here. It's fine. Rested area. Okay. 60. Here we go. 51. I need to change his mog. I still don't like his mog. For some reason, one of those characters that I keep mogging him and I just keep not liking it. Baby pets are cute. Hello, Empress. <laughs> How are you doing? <sighs> okay. Um. I think he just needs a robe. I mean, he just needs the robe version. He just doesn't look good with pants. I think it's the boots. That's okay. Uh, let's see. He doesn't need deep home pots. He's a mage. Um, he's good on heirlooms. I do need to fix my spec, though. I'm in arcane already. <laughs> Hold on a second. There we go. Silver was chatting at me. She's like, we have internet now, because she just moved. So I'm getting it set up. I'm excited to talk with you later. Yeah! <laughs> so, we're hyped. Alright, Arcane Mage. Uh, import. Arc. Changing talents. Excellente. Okie dokie. Oops, not that. There we go. Alright, macros. I have to delete everything because Arcane I totally redid. The majority of the classes I was able to like... I didn't have to change them too much from like my Shadowlands or BFA versions. Um, but Arcane was one that totally... I totally redid my talents for it, so... Absolutely redid it. Okay. Macros. And I got a big ol' a beefer of a cast sequence macro, plus a couple of uh, instants on it. I've got cast sequence, fire blast, arcane barrage, arcane blast, arcane blast, and then presence of mind and touch of the magi as well. Because <laughs> they made touch of the magi instant. I never liked that ability. That's the uh, arcane artifact ability from Legion. But I never really liked it because... It was a slow cast, and it didn't feel impactful enough. But, um, they changed it. It's an instant now, and it's not on the GCD. So, similar to Living Bomb for Fire, I can I can macro it into another ability, so I just use it, and it just explodes with, with pure chaos. I'm like, yes, please! That makes me happy. <laughs> Uh, so. I haven't played with it a whole lot, though. Um, so we'll see if that, uh, works out or not. I just tested it on a dummy for a couple minutes last night, and I was like, yes, this seems like it would be fun. So. That's how I make my specs these days. Whatever feels fun. Okay, so we're all good there. Um, he can't take Supernova yet, can he? There we go. Take Supernova. <clears throat> there we go. That way I at least have that ability in that slot. We're all good there. Doesn't have all of his abilities yet. Okay. Um. Hearth's good. Um. Ring of Fates, yes. I have a little gold. I want to mog him a little bit. I'm still... I still just don't like it. Like, I like his upper half. Upper half looks good. But he needs something else going on down here. Let's see what we got. Let's see here. I need... No, I know it'll immediately solve this issue when he's met, when he's level 60. I'm not going to bother, actually, because I remembered. I was like, I need more, like, butt-flappy stuff. That's what he's missing. <laughs> I know, that's what I call them. Um, it's, it's, what set? Where is it at? 
Um, expansion. Turn on all the expansions here. Here we go. It's... And those sets are pretty. Um, collected. There we go. We need the collected stuff. This one here. Yeah. Yeah, that would look nice. I'd r get rid of the cloak. But yeah, that'd look good together. And the boots would fix the, the look. And I'd have the gloves as well. Yep. I'd probably fix it right there. So we've got the other... Oh, I love that it comes, it comes in this dark color. I want it so bad. Surveyors. Expedition gear. That is... That's a nice color. Yep, I'm not gonna bother mogging him then because uh, when I hit 60. I hate that that's level locked. I really wish they wouldn't lock the current expansion to like max level range. Just let me use an all my oats, please. If I earned it, I earned it, right? Free. But anyway, good. So never mind. He'll he'll be fixed when he hits 60. He's good for now. Okay. So we want hua mode. Hua. And get him over to the dumpf. The dumpf. Dark Moon Fair, dumpf. <laughs> ah. Need to fix my minimap icons. Because they reset all of them back at the beginning of expansion. Still displeased. Fix, 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 fix. Get rid of that. There we go. Clean map. Thank you. I need the mini map. Mini map's my life. Drop's done. Drop's done. Ah, okay. In we go. Beautiful. I have a ground mount. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. <sighs> mm-hmm. Getting me some buffs and set up. I didn't know what to sing there. I was like, uh, alt prep? <laughs> I failed. I was gonna sing, but it failed. Never mind. The attack failed. <laughs> It missed. Uh, speaking of uh, Pokemon specifically, I got the um, Pokemon Infinite Fusion fan-made game. It's really fun. Oh my gosh. Cringe. <laughs> Cringe, hey. Uh, but no, no, no. Um, I got the Pokemon made fan-made game. Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and it's actually super, super fun. I've been enjoying it. I played it for a little bit uh, to see if it'd be worth it. It's like a legit Pokemon game. It's it's just done really well. It's free. Um, and uh, at some, my point is at some point on the channel, I definitely want to play it because I, I actually have been really enjoying it. It's been nice to play an OG, more OG, I guess, um... Pokemon game again because like the new ones are fun don't get me wrong I do like the new ones but there's something to be said about the pixelated I don't even know what you'd call it top down you know not 3d I guess technically it's 2d um Pokemon games from like gen 1 through maybe 4 or 5 I don't know I just there's just something about them and it was kind of kind of nice Okay, 60, 52. Does anyone know if you can disable the tracking for treasures like tackle boxes or packs on the mini-map? Um... I don't think you can disable them necessarily. Unless you have an add-on. I know with add-ons you can. 
like Silver Dragon, I can tell it to not track treasures and stuff, and it, it gets rid of all the treasures on my map. Um, but I don't think that's a base thing. I don't... Yeah, I don't think you can remove it. I don't recall seeing it. Hmm. Discipline. You're gonna go shadow, my dear. Shadow, because the new shadow is dope. Okay. Get rid of all that stuff. Okay. And we're gonna pull in Shadow Priest. There it is. Sha. You can't spell shadow without sha. Uh, how's the archive channel going? It's going fine. Been. I've got. A lot of stuff uploaded to it, um, and a lot more. Like, as soon as we end stream here, I'm going to continue uploading stuff to it. I still have... There's... <laughs> like, I don't think you guys realize, like, how much content got pulled off my main channel or never got posted in the first place. Like, I mean, there's, there's over, like, a thousand videos. It's insane. <laughs> you know, accumulatively, of everything that is up and isn't up. So there's a lot. I'm uh, good for every day through uh, July now. <laughs> so. But it's going fine. And I'm glad that I can finally put up um, all of the stuff I've done over the years that is not on my main channel and it doesn't go to waste. It's not just sitting there rotting and useless wasted time. So. People, you know, whether they like it or not, they can go watch it there if they like. One color for dirt, another for explorer packs, a third for Tuscar boxes. <laughs> yes. There we go. I just unlocked the table boxes, and that is all I see when flying anywhere. Uh, the tackle boxes, yeah. <laughs> I feel that. Uh, we can avoidance, those can hide. Okay. So, shadow. Pull over that. Perfect. And this. Oh, we're still quite a ways off from, uh, in fact, we can look right now. We're quite a ways off from, uh, monetization, I believe. Let's see, let's look here together. Where's where's my monetization at? I am still Yeah, I'm 895 out of 4000. <laughs> so, there's my um my current I'm 895 hours out of 4000 before I can get monetized. So, it's getting there. Slowly. And I know you've been helping, so I do appreciate that a lot, Dabs. One day. It just has to be within 365 days, so I'm really hoping that uh, with all the content I've been uploading, people will help with that. Oops, I didn't mean to change this one. There we go. There we go, because it's an old channel. It used to be monetized, but if you don't post for like, I think it's six months, you'll lose your monetization, which sucks. That channel has a good few hundred videos on it already. <laughs> oh well. Uh, do you just need people to watch your archive channel? Pretty much. That's really what it comes down to. I've been thinking about like, I don't know how to promote it without sounding like, like I'm begging. <laughs> But I kind of am. I just need people to just like, just go watch it, please. I know I won't make much out of it, but I would like to be at least monetized a little bit. Because any extra little bit can help. And, uh, you know, it's all like Let's Plays. Some of it with Cam, some of it isn't. Let's Plays podcast, all my VODs go there. Um, a lot of stuff like that. A lot of stuff like that. Make it a play all playlist <laughs> exactly on it. Well, thank you, Data Bob. Tend to play all on the loop. Aw, Zula, you guys are too sweet. 
It feels good knowing you're relatively close to monetization. You're far, but not too far. Yeah, I'm almost at a thousand. I'm, I'm not too far off of a thousand of the four thousand that I need, so... One... Almost a quarter of the way there, so that's not bad. Not bad. And I appreciate it. Like, I've been thinking about making, like, an announcement or something to, like, can you guys, like, help me out with this? But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little too shy. <laughs> Because it's all, a lot of it that's being uh, re-uploaded is it's, that's what it is. It's not new content with the exception of the VODs right now. Like, eventually new stuff will be added. Um, but right now, you know, it's an archive channel, so I'm trying to dump all of my dozens and dozens and dozens of videos. Like, I still have... Gosh. I'm into the... I, all the latte and tea stuff is now uploaded. Now I'm into the Kraken and Canary stuff, and that's partly uploaded. I need... I still... I did a lot of videos with Canary. I still got like... 30 more videos to upload between me and her. Before I can move to a different topic. I have no shortage of content. I'll just put it, put it that way. And a lot... And the unfortunate thing is a lot of it's old. So it's <laughs> not very good quality. Like, the sound is a little off, the, the, uh, you know, we're, we're not quite synced with each other. A lot of it's, but, but it was fun. Like, it was cringy, but it was fun, you know? It was a lot of, I guess you can see growth if you want to look at it that way, because it's back from BFA, early Shadowlands stuff. Um, it's old, a lot of old stuff. I was watching some of it last night to make sure it was still good and uh i was cracking up at some of it <laughs> all i do is watch youtube and twitch while i play so it'll be easy to go through your catalog oh well thank you there's definitely a lot of it there and and youtube doesn't like when you dump things all at once even though i do that with my vods every sunday but so every day i've been releasing a new episode of of series and i am making them into playlists as i go so that that'll be all there Oh, I had fun listening to the new race class video uploaded this morning, so why not browse the rest? Oh, well, thank you, Zula. <laughs> yeah, that one was enjoyable. That was a uh, part of the podcast that Canary and I were doing for a brief while. Is that the last episode of that one? I don't think that was the last episode. It might have been. No. No, that's not the last episode. There's still a few more of that one coming. But every day there will be a new episode of stuff. Plus there's dozens and dozens of old videos from, and even other games. There's other games on that channel. Pokemon, Devil May Cry, I played Oblivion for a little bit. Um, it's an old channel. Um, oh, speaking of, I actually found the old pilots. The pilot episodes for... Latte and tea way back it, when I first started um, doing Let's Plays. My first Let's Play ever. There was like four episodes, I think. I found them. I thought I had lost them because they were on my old laptop at the time. Not my, the one I just replaced, but the one before that when I first started. Four years ago now. I feel so old. And... Um, they're so cringe. <laughs> They're so bad. But I uploaded them anyway because this, you know, archives. It's my, it's my first stuff ever. And then if you want to see like when stuff like that was originally posted, I have it in the description. Original episode date. And then it has the date. That way you know how old the video technically is. Despite when it was re-uploaded. So... It's pretty cringe, so if you want to go laugh at me and Canary or Silver um, from years ago, that's uh, that's all on that channel now. <laughs> uh, you could just say, if you missed a stream, come check out your archive channel to see what was missed. There is that, too, because it's definitely, that's where all my VODs are going as well. Um... And I upload each week, so I've gotten in the rhythm now, each week's VODs, because I have five videos a week, five streams. I upload those on Sunday every week to that channel. Um, because I would just do it like immediately after stream, but 
Twitch has a, if you're monetized with them, a 24-hour rule. You can't upload... I mean, you can, but you'll get in trouble. Um, your stream to anywhere else, any other platform for 24 hours is part of their affiliate agreement or whatever. It's a little weird, but whatever. Why do I have everything but shoulders? That's weird. So, but because of that, I just upload the week onto uh, all at once. Easier than trying to mess with it every day. Here we go. Oops. Nothing wrong with cringe if it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Those all, all, all that content, all it was was a lot of fun. It was definitely a lot of fun. It's just old. <laughs> Not very professional. It's old. We might say things that might piss some people off. There might be some cursing. <laughs> it's before I really kind of figured out my brand. You know, stuff like that. So, <laughs> so, so, if you go watch some of my old Let's Plays, um, be prepared. It's interesting. Let's see. These. Excellent. All my uh, ambience videos are going to be uh, re-uploaded there. Uh, hold on. At some point as well. Let's see, I need to pull on Shadow Priest. So that's on the list of things to do. I'm going to put those up there. And I do actually plan to continue that series as well. Um, I really like making those. And I'm going to do some improvements on those as well. So some of the old ones I might redo. Fix the quality of them. Uh, now that I have a better way of doing things. So. Those will be on there too. And I don't know how long it'll take to get everything uploaded. But just be forewarned. There might be a lot of content being dumped onto that channel over over this year. <laughs> Cause I have a lot. I have a lot of content. A lot of stuff. Ooh, another one that I know people liked, but um, it was technically hurting my main channel was my entire one to sixty solo playthrough of my Shadowlands guides. Um. Did I not delete all her macros? I did not delete all her macros. Those will be re-uploaded too, and those have face cam. So, those will be uploaded on there after I finish all the Kraken and Canary stuff. Those are probably next. So, lots of stuff. There we go. Lots of stuff I really enjoyed making, but they got a lot of hate back in the day. For whatever reason, back in my early days of YouTube, people really hated my Let's Plays. So, uh, they, uh, <laughs> they didn't stick around, I'll put it that way. Don't know why, but people were not very nice about it. Which, you know, it's one thing, you know, you get a few negative comments here and there. I get it. But no, when it's like the whole thing and everyone's shit posting on you and downvoting. Like, oh, you're cringe. Why are you still playing this game? It was back during that. I feel like there's not, there's a whole lot less of that these days. But man, I don't miss that. Okay, there we go. She is all good. Excellent. She needed some work. Okay, cool. Uh, did you hear about the Twitch 2S changes since the streamers are trying to end their contracts with Twitch early? Yeah, I heard. That's, uh, I saw that. It doesn't really affect me any, but that's, um, for, like, promotional stuff. Like, if you promote, how, it, how you promote, uh, like, products and sponsors and stuff, which I don't do sponsors or anything or product placement that doesn't really affect me any but you know definitely a shame 
I didn't read too far into it. Like, I read over it, but I was like, uh... Not long enough to actually commit it to memory. <laughs> oh, I need to fix that. Oh, there's been some community growth since then in the sense of people actually remembering there's other people on the other end of the screen. There definitely has been. Well, and I think, too, that it feels like, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, the WoW community has really kind of cleaned up a bit lately. Because they're, like, at the end of the BFA and early Shadowlands, man, I hadn't seen community toxicity that high since, like, Mop and Wad. Um, it wasn't as bad in Legion, but I don't know. It was pretty, pretty gruesome. And a lot of, like, sexual predators. Like, what was that about? I, that was, a, there was a lot of that. I don't know why that was a thing, but I don't know if, like, Blizzard cracked down or what. Like, I know we have the, the community agreement form thing, like, be nice or you get banned, but... I don't know how effective that actually is. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. But I think mostly what I chalk it up to was I was new. I was a small channel. I was new on the scene. And people are not very nice to new channels for some reason. Because that's the type. Because you you're not in its algorithm yet. So it's just everyone under the sun sees you. And people that don't even understand what World of Warcraft even is are just going to come shitpost all of your stuff. So it's a rough ride for the first year or two. <laughs> Man. <laughs> uh, but it evened out once I actually got, you know, amount a good amount of followers and a community built up underneath me that, that chased that away. I get pretty much nothing but positive anymore from what comments I do get, which is nice to see. Thank you so much, Gredford, for the gifted sub. Super appreciate your support, and congratulations, Pearl Chew, for the gift. Thank you so much. Uh, I love that I can add sounds to that. That makes me so happy. <laughs> uh, it was part of why I wasn't playing then. From beginning of WAD to end of SL, I was AWOL. Yep, totally understandable. I feel like it's gotten better. Like, I've actually found a lot of really nice people in Dragonflight, which is weird. Like, Moonguard has always been fairly, fairly homey. You know, fairly nice. But, just more than normal. At least from what I've come across, which is unusual. Oh, I didn't have a YouTube account back then, but always liked those vids. Oh, well thank you, Kalu. Well, don't you worry, they are coming back. They'll be on the Archive channel. Which, for any of you that don't know what one I'm referring to, it is a separate channel. It's that one there, Kraken Latte Archive. Should still come up when you type in Kraken Latte. It is an old channel. I've had that one a very long time, almost as long as my main one. Um, cause that's where I tried to do other games, but it didn't really work out so well. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll do two more characters here. We got two warlocks, so this account would be done, and we'll have prepped at least one account. So that's good. Um, so that's two, because I did one last night. I didn't have very many on my first account. This is my second account. So then we'll have six more to go. Because <laughs> I have eight accounts. <laughs> that's okay, though. Uh, that's why I try to be positive as possible to any new channels I find. There's no reason people should be just uh, more positive. I agree. Yep, I'm right there with you. Especially if you're, like, new. Um... Like, I hate to say it, but is my, the best advice I can really give to new streamers, or not streamers, but new um YouTubers, you have to grow a thick skin real quick. Like, I know that sounds terrible, and you shouldn't have to, but unfortunately, it's the internet. If you don't, you will uh be caught crying occasionally. I know I did. There are people that made me cry, so... uh. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> a little embarrassing, but... Yeah, you learn to, uh... You learn to not take it personally. Because people will try to attack you personally. Uh, I even watched your latte and tea. They were cute. Oh, thank you, Kalu. Well, more of them are coming. Um, I think... 
most of them are on that channel for the latte and tea, because that is when I switched to starting to upload those directly to that channel. Um, but there was a couple I found. The pilots were one of them. And a ser the first episode of a series we just never finished uh, are going up. In fact, I can look right now. Where are we at with that, actually? Da, 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 da. That way I'm not talking out my ass here. Where are we at? What's... I have a lot scheduled. Um... Yeah. Ah, that's right! We have the Shadowlands pre-patch event. We have the... Ah, there's a lot of Latte and Tea stuff left. Okay. Yeah, the Latte and Tea stuff officially ends... on June 24th. Yep. So y'all still got a whole month of latte and tea stuff. <laughs> uh, that's sad, but that's the internet for you. Yeah, it really is. It is. It's just kind of how you have to be. I'm kind of debating between Twitch streaming or just doing YouTube vids. Seems like actual streaming may be more enjoyable slash preferable. It's definitely, at least to me, easier compared to making guides specifically. You get more immediate feedback. It is more enjoyable because I can sit here and just talk to you. It's not scripted. You don't have to edit it unless you're taking your VOD, like the VOD, and then like editing it and uploading it elsewhere. Um, so honestly, like, I know other people would disagree with me, but to me, streaming is easier than doing videos. Just because for the videos, you have to script it. You have to record it. You have to edit it. You have to do all this, like... It takes me several hours to make a single YouTube video. Granted, I'm doing guides. If I was doing like Let's Plays or something, even then that would probably still take me a while um, if I wanted to edit it. Because I don't edit my Let's Plays. Um, they're technically... Like, not really. Like, I add the intro and outro and stuff, but... Uh, yeah. So... But on the other hand, I have heard that it's a lot harder to get going as a Twitch streamer in, first, uh, in terms of, like, growth than it is as a YouTuber. So, honestly, if you can handle it, I just do both. Try to hit both crowds. Um, because that's the only reason I got such crazy growth here on Twitch is because I was already a YouTuber for, like, four years. I already had a name. May not be the, you know, the biggest name ever, but I already had a name. People already go, oh, Crack of Latte, that's the Brutusaur video chick. Cause that's all people <laughs> refer to me as. <laughs> or leveling guides. But, um, you know, it was something. Whereas if you're an absolute nobody, it can be a little difficult. Okay, I think this guy is good. He was already, like, pretty much set up for some reason. Ah. I need to fix my macros. That's what I need to fix. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll just do that one anyways. That's a big mount. There we go. Shadow Fury. That one, and then the DF one's fine. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go get our buffs. Boofs. Excellent. Hmm. Almost done with my iced coffee. I have to make another one. Oh, my stream with Twitch, then post the archives on YouTube. Though, shifting games currently and kind of want to settle on one before trying to get into that. Thank you for the opinion advice, though. Editing would be a bit of a nightmare for me. Yeah, the editing part, if you don't already know how to do it, is a huge learning curve. It was for me. I had never edited a video before until I started doing that. Because I had to make a YouTube video for a college class. It was a requirement for that. It was like media, mass marketing, something, whatever the class was. And uh, so I was learning through that, and I watched so many tutorials because I'd never done it before. Like, it's not 
technically that hard once you know how to do it, because then you can pick up your tricks and your shortcuts, but like if you've never done it before, it's a lot of work. And you're like, wow, there's a lot to this. <laughs> uh, you know? So, and they use a lot of terms that like we don't normally use in, in our everyday speech. It's kind of interesting because a lot of it too, like I noticed it's the similar terms as like cooking. So if you don't cook much, <laughs> like rendering, like rendering a video, you know, you render fat, you're cooking it together. You know, like when you cook like a steak or something or a pork or a, a roast or bacon, like, you know, all that grease that's rendered fat. Well, that's what you say to a video. You're rendering the video. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, a lot of stuff like that. What a lot of weird terms. Oh, let's see. Buff, excellent. And we hearth. Uh, what app do you use to edit? I use Shotcut. It is not the most high quality um, app, but it is free. It's easy to use. It's great for beginners. It's a... Uh, it's very basic, but it does enough for me that it does what I need. Because I don't do super, super fancy stuff. So. But I use Shotcut. Ironically, I have basic vocabulary in both editing and cooking. Well, then you'll definitely have an easier time if you get into editing than me. Because I didn't know any of it. It was like, I'd watch a tutorial and they're like, okay, do this thing. And I'm like... You gonna show me? Cause I don't know what that is. Like, if you need to see how to do X thing, go over here. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was, it was interesting. Uh, let's see. You have the wrong neck on. But that was just because I never did stuff like that before. Most of most folks these days, I feel like it's a little more common. So, you probably don't have anything to worry about, to be honest. So watch a lot of tutorials. That's always my advice to people. Don't be ashamed to watch a lot of tutorials. I still watch tutorials. Okay. Macro. Let's delete all your macros. There we go. Ironically, I'm terrible at cooking. I turn frozen corn dogs into hockey pucks. But I understand quite a few cooking terms. Well, that's good. I used to be pretty good with Premiere, but I haven't used it in years. Yeah, I tried Premiere, and that is way more... Like, I, I think I still have it. But that is way more complex than Shotcut is. Shotcut is super basic. Um, still complex if you've never done it before, but super basic. And, uh, man. <laughs> I needed it. I'm glad I started with the Shotcut, because... Premiere was really confusing for me. <sighs> and now I'm just too lazy to switch because I got it all set up the way I like it. And, you know. <laughs> I haven't really come across a whole lot that Shotcut can't do. Like, if you're looking for really nice, fancy stuff, then Shotcut wouldn't be what you'd want. But it works for what I need. Pretty basic. Use... Okay. Alright. And now let's fix your macros. Doot. Whoops. That one. There we go. Maybe that or that. We can do this one. And that one's fine. Okay. Uh, and your items are good already. You have the right looms on now. Okay. Nice and quick. Delightful. Are you saying shot cut or shot cut? Shot cut. The first one. Shot like you shot the man and cut. Like you cut the man. <laughs> <sighs> All right. For the horde, man. Okay. Let's 
Ah, I need to fix my, um... Button... Thingy... Tracking... Target, get rid of those, get rid of all this stuff. There we go. Okay. Uh, so you shot the man, cut the man, got it. <laughs> Pretty much! It's how it feels when you're editing videos. Alright. Okay, in we go. This is a really big mount. I didn't realize how tall it was. Oh, well, my PC just threw the breaker and I wasn't doing anything stupid. <laughs> Aww. Uh, I know the feeling. Uh, my side of the house is the weak side of the inverters. Because I live on, I'm on an inverter battery system. And, for, of course, you know, it's on my side of the house. So if anyone uses the microwave, toaster, and coffee machine and hot water pot at the same time, like we've learned to just not do that, it will flip the switch. Or if some, if my dad uses the air compressor outside and it's on my side of the V inverter, it'll it'll flip it, and I'm just like, I am working here, <laughs> which is in one of the main reasons why I actually have my video rendering stuff on a laptop, because if I lose power, I, it doesn't stop, <laughs> it doesn't freak it out. Because that is one thing you do not want to do, is shut off your computer or lose power. In the middle of a video render, it will freak out. <laughs> it does not no grunt. So, it's pretty funny. Uh, glad for solid state drives, don't have to worry about power loss as much. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the microwave, yep. <laughs> of course, the use of air compressor does not equal essential. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but of course. But you know, if they're like airing up tires or something, or... Whatever, because we have a lot of, like, farm equipment and stuff. Um, he plugs it into that side. Or if he has to, like, I don't know, work on something. You know. <laughs> There's various other reasons that, the, that it might trip. It's pretty rare anymore, though, which is nice. Got the buff, got war mode, yes, okay. <sighs> but, yeah, it's just all on my side of the house. The internet... Um, and my stuff are all plugged in onto my side of the inverter. So, of course. <laughs> That's okay, it is what it is. Alright, was that this account? Let me check and make sure all my 50s are in Oribos. Oribos, Oribos. Oribos, 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 Oribos. Oribos, Oribos. Uh, Oribos. Oribos, Oribos. Orbos, yes, yes, Orbos. Okay, cool. Alright, this account's good. Alright, uh, hello, Labot. I'm. <laughs> he came in right at the end. I'm seconds from ending. Our whole house is randomly like that. We have to be careful what goes into which outlet or trips a breaker. <laughs> yep, I feel that. I feel that. Thank you so much, Peach Nick, for the follow. Puggle welcome, buddy. welcome. Glad to have you here. I hope you enjoy your stay, and unfortunately, that is our time. We are 20 minutes over because I wanted to finish this account. Here is cool my story, bro. <laughs> Here's my schedule. Uh, you guys, come on. There is my stream schedule Cringe. if you need to see it in your time. And I will be back. What's today? It's Wednesday. So I'll be back tomorrow. Um. And there's no one I can. The only other three people I know are playing Diablo, so <laughs> that's okay. But you all have a fantastic night. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye!